Sometimes back the politicians use the church body. They organize meetings, prayer meetings. Then the politicians come and preach to bishops, preach to pastors, preach to them, and then pray for them. So who is the priest? Good morning and win forever. Thank you so much for coming on board again one more time. This is a wonderful Sunday evening and it has been a wonderful Sunday. It has been a wonderful service. Now, after this today, I had a very strong conviction watching news somewhere this entire week. I discovered that we have to talk about something. The church and the body of Christ in Kenya has compromised several times. And by the compromise they have made, there are a lot of consequences that we have seen happening and taking place right from 2022 general elections. Now, this brings me to a serious concern that I've been talking about many times and many people especially the bishops in kenya the apostles in kenya and some pastors in kenya now they came out and would be saying oh where end out of the pesa kwanza ndio ukuje sasa ukisha kuja ukiwa na pesa sauti iko kubwa volume iko kubwa but then we forget that the truth is truth whether it has volume or it doesn't have volume now the very first thing i want to talk about is now the association relationship between the body of Christ the church and that contains bishops apostles pastors reverends those who own a, a, a reverence of a, a worship centers let me use the word worship centers those who run church institutions in Nairobi especially in Kenya major cities like Thika Nakuru, Kisumu, not quite in Kisumu, not quite in Mombasa, but those are major cities that somehow, somehow are also affected in one way or another. Now, they have dined so many times with the politician. Now, the problem does not come within the dining. The problem comes in that after dining with the politicians, they look like the results of being bought by the politicians. I repeat here, it's like after they dine with the politicians, like the politicians have bought them to their side. And the buying is like they receive money, they receive gifts, they receive things that are not suitable for the men of God to receive from the politicians. And now it sways their sober mind of making clear decisions. And after a while, you discover that the politicians, after buying the men of God, now they control them even in the prophetic operations. That is why I keep on saying that there is a serious need of prophetic office, highly operating in the nation of Kenya. Kenyans need prophets more than pastors as at this era. And this time, this season, there is a serious need of apostles and prophets to operate in a high note. I know even now as I'm talking, someone is saying, ah, who is this one now? Now, this is where, what God has spoken to me to say. Because you see, sometimes back the politicians use the church body. They organize meetings, prayer meetings. Then the politicians come and preach to bishops, preach to pastors, preach to them, and then pray for them. So who is the priest? And all of them are happy. Oh, I have hosted the senior so-and-so. I've hosted the politician of this caliber. I've hosted the CS of this caliber. Come to my church this time. Come to my church this day. Now, this is the major problem. Now, what exactly are you celebrating? His coming or his clowning you as the man of God? Now, they have swapped the roles. Now, when they prepare the meetings, 
They want prayers to be taking a back seat now. After using that in, 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 in the previous elections, after the elections they won, the church literally campaigned for the government. After campaigning and campaigning and campaigning, the church threw out the body of Christ. And now we have systems that are regulating the church on the sensitive matters like attendances. I have, I, I, have, I have the proposed bill that was there even before elections. I have it with me. I have that pack. I have it with me. The articles are there. I've read the bills. I've read all of it. And I can tell you the bill is not comfortable for the body of Christ. Now it is fighting the evangelical wing of the church. You can't preach comfortably to a group who does not know Christ. They assume you are trying to alter and change the other. So what is the, re the revelation of bringing the body of Christ to light or converting people into Christianity? One of the major assignments we have in the body of Christ is to win souls. And that's now where the bill comes in that you cannot convert a man from another religion. It's not about conversion to another. It's to win the soul to Christ. And that's where the marking point starts now. After elections, just recently, the deputy president was impeached. I don't want to talk about, about this because it's not a very safe statement to deal with. But then, it's like the church was played. And all of them are quiet now. They, they can't speak about it. They can't talk about it. They are all quiet, gone quiet. And now I saw the same politician, uh, the, the same body of politics now attending a church service in another place. Now talking about the same things they messed up and all the clergy is quiet, seated down, listening to lectures. There is a place where the prophets has to rise up now. It is a season where the prophets have to come out in Kenya. Unfortunately, the same body of Christ are fighting the prophetic ministries. Prophets. They are fighting the prophets. They are fighting the prophetic office. And that is where the problem is. And once it starts to stick to that, that means there is a serious danger showed out in the next term. So who is to speak? The clergy, the prophet, or the politician, you have the answers. Go to the comment section and talk to me. I'm Timothy Profitable, and this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters. See you in the next episode.